Welcome back to today's stories, The Path of Destinies. Let's jump in here, if you'll remember from last time. We, uh, you know, had Zenobia see that her father is, uh, actually not quite a good dude, and then she went and got the Iblis Stone. So, Iblis Stone's back, back again, to destroy our friends. So let's jump in and see what we get. Because it will be interesting to see how the Iblis Stone affects someone else besides you. Because we've seen what it takes. You know, we went the pure evil route and just said, Yes, Iblis Stone, you are my master. And that didn't go so well. But, you know, it was okay. Because we learned. And now we know of its evilness. But now Zenobia has it. She's using it. She just destroyed a bunch of ravens. So... We'll see how that works out for us. She just killed a lot of people. Just sliced them and diced them. Unlike me, I don't. Oh, wait, I do slice and dice. Ha ha ha. There were more dead ravens along his path, some of them wounded in the back. He knew she could have easily talked her way past them, or clouded the little tiny raven brains of the spell. She was going out of her way to kill everything in her path. This wasn't Zenobia. Not as he knew her. Nope. Not as I knew her. Jump in here. Where did the... There was a door up here. Did it disappear? Or was it on a different platform? Weird. Don't know. Maybe it's up here further. So I want to go through that purple door. Oh, there's going to be some bad guys through here. Oh. Maybe not. Hmm. He hadn't noticed that path before. Good. Good. I hope that's legit. To me, the game telling me I hadn't noticed that path before. Because I'm really bad at remembering which paths I've already gone down. No levels. Big chest. Oh, health, yay. Actually, I think I do this one all the time. I think this is like the level I always get. Hmm. Oh well. So, his beloved was possessed by the spirit of a demon. That's what it meant to be a hero. To brave the darkness in your loved one's soul. To have faith there was still good in her. To help her out of that darkness, no matter what the cost. But what? What could he do? She'd kill him if he tried to take the Iblis Stone from her. Hmm. What shall I do? That is a good question. Not entirely sure. Oh yeah, get over 20 inches, kill, kill, kill. But I'm the hero, so it's all good. I'm I'm the hero and don't have the Iblis stone, so it's all good. This would be the perfect place for a tic-tac-toe door. Perfect place for a tic-tac-toe game. Yeah, I can see it. Ooh. Oh, wait for that one.
No enemies! Oh yeah, this is like the final uh, frontier here. As we go through... Oh, slice, slice, slice. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh oh. The end after only five minutes. Doing it. Let's see what we do. At here. the end of the trail of raven corpses was Zenobia. Her father was frantically rigging a strange apparatus wrapped around a glowing core. Don't do it, he shouted. You'll hate yourself in the morning. Stay back, she screamed in a horrible voice he'd never heard before. It froze him in his tracks. The emperor stared at him. Run, he told the toad, or hop. But he didn't manage to voice it, only think it. Uh. Zenobia stabbed her blade forward, and his majesty fell dead. She began laughing hysterically. Or was she weeping? Just walk away. She laughed at him. I've no more use for you. There was something he needed to do, but he couldn't figure out what it was. So he did as he was told. As he walked away, he felt a chill in the world. The light in the sky seemed to dim. He didn't dare turn. He had a nagging feeling there was something he should have done just then. Something heroic. But he could not have taken the Iblis stone from her by force. And she would not have parted with it willingly. A cold wind blew from where she had been. But he still didn't dare turn. And then, an awful laughter filled the air. And all the torches and all the ships went out. And he realized what he should have done. But by then, it was too late to do anything. Oh, I didn't and get a chance. he hadn't learned anything new this time. He'd done the same thing twice, yet expected a different outcome. Uh, that's not true. The missing ingredients. Hmm. All right, well, we, uh, the Iblis Stone kind of wrecked us there again, <laughs> just through our friends this time, so that's, that, that was fun. I think that what we needed to do was get the core of the Sky Ripper and add that whole thing to the mix instead of go to the mountains with her, because, you know, now the, uh, now the other option was to for the rebel base. Hmm. Maybe I could have gone to the core instead of seeing Zenobia. I don't know. I don't know. Next time we'll find out. We'll start a new story. Try something new. I mean, there's a ton of different options here. I mean, like, how many options are there? There's 24, and I've only gotten four of them, so... There will be 20 more options. Whether or not they're right, you know, that's a different story. But... To be continued in a new adventure... Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Stories, The Path of Destinies. If you liked it, feel free to hit that like button and also subscribe to see more. If you'd like to see the previous episode, click on the left there. If you'd like to see some sweet Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning play in the middle. And Final Fantasy VIII on the right. 